So hello guys welcome back to the channel this is the updated video for this particular lab so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now here a lot of you guys are is facing issue of empty files when you open the jupyter notebook so don't worry i have fixed this issue and also reported to the team they have made temporary fix but don't worry you will get the score for this lab definitely if you follow the way completely as i do in the lab now first of all if you're new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel just click on i agree and then click on agree and continue now from the navigation menu you have to select vertex ai and just click on the workbench now here a lot of you guys are facing the empty file issue as i said earlier let's see it first of all we'll see it and then we'll fix it because sometimes the file are available and sometimes it's not so you should know how you can execute all the steps so now first of all open the jupyter lab it will take few minutes sometimes even longer and sometimes even e early so just wait for a few more seconds so as you can see here all the files are empty now what you need to do you have to just close this page that the jupyter notebook page and come back to the workbench section now you have to just click on this checkbox and click on the reset button now it will reset the jupyter notebook instance that is we'll be using in this part of this lab it will be reset to normal and you'll be able to open the jupyter lab and all the files will be available again this is the main thing because there is some ongoing issues on particular labs that's why it's facing this kind of issue now if you are able to see the file directly you can just move to the next part of this video and just try now open the jupyter lab like this let me show you just click on it and wait for a few more seconds now finally you can see the file what you need to do is just open the first file intro gemini click on it and select python 3s kernel now we will update the project id and region so now for the project id and region go to task number two like this set the project id copy carefully make sure there is no in extra space or dot now just copy it from here and just paste over here now for the region what you need to do copy the region from here and just replace correctly and now as you can see the kernel status is now idle make sure the kernel is now idle now you have to come to the genai sdk just use this play button and wait for it to get installed after that we have to just restart the kernel here no restart command is mentioned we have to restart it manually let me show you how we'll restart now you have to just go to the kernel you can see here click on it just click on restart kernel and just click on restart again now a pop-up will come you have to just click on ok on it let me show you wait a minute so as you can see no pop-up came i think so now you can run if sometimes the pop-up came now click on run run selector cells and below now it will take at least two to five minutes so wait for it after that you can hit check my progress and you will be done with the lab guys i hope you are enjoying the event and arcade games too now finally the kernel is now idle now we'll move forward to the lab instruction and check the score you can check the score by three methods you can check like this from the check my progress or you can go to particular task and hit the check my progress and then if you are unable to see the score sometimes it's glitch is there then you can reload the browser and try again so as you can see we are getting the score and do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing update now you can see sometimes the score is missing and for remaining labs and skill badges you can check the playlist and description too now finally we are done with the lab guys have a great